Okay, episode 17, part 4. So, is everything going well? Are we going to attack soon? I don't know yet. I'm looking for Zalia, actually. I haven't seen her, sorry. It's alright. I didn't get the chance to talk to you yesterday. That is rare. I thought you didn't want to. Yeah, well, I was angry. Is it just me, or is everything, everyone being nicer with me today? He is writing something in his notebook. <laughs> I leaned over his shoulder and, and put one hand on him. What are you doing? I'm trying to read what you were writing. I wasn't writing anything. I was trying to draw. <laughs> I can see that. There's a stick figure uh, evolution drawn in in his notebook. Don't make fun of it. I did my best. What did you want to draw? What I had on my mind. What were you thinking about when you drew that? Uh. <laughs> oh my god, he's adorable. And no one in particular. Oh my god, he's blushing. <laughs> wow. Uh, this is totally different if you peek over his shoulder with a low affinity. It annoys him, but... <laughs> oh, he is such a cutie. <laughs> Are you going to stop avoiding me already? I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't see you before. Because that was the case before, of course. You told me not to come near you anymore. That's just what I'm doing. I didn't leave him the time to respond, and I walked away again. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I heard that you were punished for the water on Deborah. Yeah, and you think that's funny. Totally. You gave me a solid alibi. I told myself that attention was... Uh, the price to pay for soaking Deborah with toilet water, and in the end, you are the one that got the detention that I was expecting. I should do that sort of thing more often. Yeah, sure, go for it. The next time I won't be there uh, to take up the f uh, to take the fall. I heard you. What? Shoot, she knows that we are planning something for Deborah. Amber, and you. I heard you. Why didn't you say that you didn't do anything? It's not fair. Oh, that? Because at the moment, no one believes me, so it doesn't matter. But you have an hour of detention because of that. Yeah. That's the only thing that makes me angry. I'm sorry for you. Oh, Rosalia, do you have everything you need? Yes. Now it's just a question of time. In the meantime, I'm begging you not to get yourself into sticky situations. Actually, no, it's in order. Don't do anything stupid until Leah's ready, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, it's not my fault if almost everything I start finishes badly. <laughs> now we're supposed to go around the school until something happens. Can we talk for a bit, please? Please, are you feeling all right? <laughs> yes and no. I think the answer is clear. He grabbed me by the arm and forced me to look into his eyes. This is the chance of a lifetime. Someone I know made their album and wants me to play with him as a professional. If you want the best for me, like you said, you should understand. This opportunity won't come up again. And you are trying to ruin everything by pushing Deborah to leave again by lying. You have been acting out in the worst possible, in the worst way possible recently, and it's against a person who didn't do anything to you. I think that's enough of reason to make me mad. I didn't lie, and no, I don't understand why you are placing your hopes in a girl that already made you suffer. She just placed her career before me. I would have done the same. No, I know you. You wouldn't let anyone down. 
I walked away ignoring him before stopping. I turned around towards him and I looked at him with the most contemptuous look I could make. Oh, and actually, Rosalia was right. Those clothes don't suit you at all. You have a certain class before, and now there is nothing special about you. I left immediately after. I really wish he would understand. I couldn't resist turning around to look at him, but he had already left. I felt a hand grab onto my arm and pull me into the classroom. At first I thought it was Castile again, but... Shh! It was Alexi. What are you doing? Armin came to see me two days ago. He must have told you, but because he came to see me in the middle of the hall, I had to continue lying to him. I had to wait until we were home alone to explain things to him. Lying? Explain what to him? I don't understand what you are saying. Quiet. I don't want anyone to hear us. I'm not at all mad at you, Bakatenshi, and I know that you didn't do anything wrong. I began to doubt Deborah when she started crying, and then I knew for sure that she was faking when Violet and I took her away to calm her down. She went a little overboard. You... you believe me? But of course, Violet has known her for longer, so she lets herself be convinced more easily, except crying like that, like she did because someone she had known for less than a week didn't like her well was a bit too much. But you said you didn't want to talk to me. You seemed disappointed. I know I'm sorry, but you saw me in the hallway and Deborah wasn't very far away. I had to. Had to what? You couldn't tell her right away that you didn't believe her? Instead, you let me think that you were mad at me? She refused to talk to Nathaniel when Violet tried to reassure her by saying that the student president could help her. And the day after, she didn't want to see Lysander and Rosalia because we saw them talking to you in the halls. I thought that staying on her good side wouldn't be so bad. You were skeptical of her from the beginning. I ended up following your lead. But why didn't you tell me before? We never ran into each other after that. I mean, after our conversation in the hallway. Uh, I guess we didn't. I don't really remember. Well, I can tell you for sure I didn't have the occasion to be alone with you until now. And even now, I had to pull you in here by force. The only time you were free was when you were looking for Amber and you didn't see me. It was really frustrating. But, and Armin, why didn't you tell him before you had the occasion with him? But I told him two days ago at home. Not before because he didn't care about the whole thing. He doesn't really judge others. He hasn't said anything to me about it. He could have reassured me. Well, he told me what happened with Castile. He didn't really go into detail, but I can imagine that you felt horrible, so I wanted to talk to you myself because if I let him talk for me, he could never have done it. It? Smile. <laughs> he made a huge smile and then advanced towards me. See illustration. <laughs> How can you not love Alex? He's so cute. <laughs> He had me in, he had me tight in his arms, holding back his laughter. <laughs> Shh, I thought we weren't supposed to make any noise. Sorry, I wanted to do that for days. <laughs> it's really not fair, why do you like boys? <laughs> because they are less annoying than girls. Really, just for that, I'm not that annoying. <laughs> no, not just for that. Haha, <laughs> it's... no, not just for that. It's the kind of thing you just can't explain. It's like the fact that you like boys. You can't just, um... You just can't say why. <laughs> I can make you a whole list of reasons why I don't like Deborah. <laughs> I don't doubt that. <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving. 
If someone saw me come in here, I'll be in trouble. Oh, I just wanted to know, did you learn anything about Deborah by talking to her? Nothing that you don't already know. According to Armin, if what she told me is the truth, he left the room. Phew. Alexey isn't mad at me, and he never was, actually. In some ways, this is a great story, because we have a spy, and Deborah doesn't suspect a thing. I just saw Alex leave the room. Were you with him? Yes, but don't say anything. No one should know. It's all right. Almost everyone left. Shoot, I forgot to tell you that he doesn't really believe Deborah. I'm such an idiot. I thought he told you not to say anything. Yeah, but he was mean to make... <laughs> to make me think that he was such a creep. I wanted to get back at him. <laughs> Poor guy. When he just wanted to help in his way. Otherwise, Rosalia said to meet her at the city park. She thinks that the you-know-what is ready. Oh, yeah, great. Let's go then. Uh, no, I'll wait for you tomorrow in the halls <laughs> to see how it goes with Deborah. But it's out of the question that I go to the park. It's worse than the gardening club. Uh, okay, see you tomorrow then. <laughs> see you tomorrow. I left the school. Now it's off to the park. Baka Tenchi, we're over here. I got closer to Rosalia. And my eyes were immediately drawn to Lee. Hello, Baka Tenchi. I hope that you are well. Hi, Lee. Oh, man, you look classy. Thanks. I had a hard time getting used to it. Here comes the man in black. <laughs> See, he's perfect. <laughs> We just have to introduce him to Deborah tomorrow. But how will we do that? Well, he is going to say he wants to see her because he has something to say to her. And he was in the neighborhood, so he's taking the chance. Don't you think Deborah will be skeptical? One of her friends could just introduce me to her and say that he offered to take me to her when I asked. If it's uh, one of her friends, then she won't necessarily think that we are trying to trick her. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I'm sure that Alexey would be thrilled. I thought he was mad at you. It's more complicated than that. I'll explain later. Okay, let's meet up tomorrow to put the plan into action. Armin will be there too. We'll be hiding in the corner to make sure that things go well. Do you want to come with us? Of course. I wouldn't miss this for the world. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. I went home all excited. My parents received the note for my detention and I got in trouble. I'm not allowed to go out for a whole week. To know that everything will soon be over made me quite happy. I had a hard time falling asleep with everything that is going on. The next day I went back to school with butterflies in my stomach. Okay, I'm going to stop this here and do a fifth part.